Hello children, good morning all of you. Today for class 8, application of linear equation. You have already got three lessons, this is the fourth. Please pay your attention on the board. Sums are given from ML Agrawal exercise 12.2. You know very well, in this chapter, you have to follow the sum very attentively. Please pay your attention. On a school picnic, a group of students agree to pay equally for the use of a full boat and pay rupees 10 each. If there had been three more students in the group, each would have paid rupees two less. How many students were there in the group? Let the number of students be X. For the use of a full boat, they have to pay rupees 10 each. And therefore, the total amount for X students, that is rupees 10 into X equal to rupees 10X. And if there had been three more students, according to question three more students in the group, then the each would have paid rupees two less. This is why now the number of students more that is x plus two and they have to pay rupees two into x plus three equal to two x plus three. They have to pay this amount less this amount less. Now we have to form the equation by the problem number of students that is x plus 3 they are paying rupees 10 and this amount less and total that is 10x. By the problem we are getting this equation. Then by simplifying we are getting the value of x that is 12. Therefore there are 12 students in the group. Sum is completed. Formation of equation you have to understand clearly. Next sum. Two supplementary angles differ by 50 degree. Find the measure of each angle. Let one of two supplementary angles be x degree. Then therefore the other angle equal to 180 degree minus x degree. Supplementary angle, that means sum of two angles will be 180 degree. This is why 180 minus x. Now by the problem, differs 50 degree. Now the difference between two angles is 50 degree. This is why x minus 180 minus x equal to 50. By solving, we are getting x equal to 230 divided by 2. This division you may do in fair. No problem. Then we are getting the value of x and value of x will be the one angle and other angle that is 180 minus x, 180 and value of x that is 115 by subtracting we are getting 65. Therefore the measure of each angle are 65 degree and 115 degree. Sum is completed. Very simple. If you understand the problem clearly, then spontaneously the solution will come out. Okay. Thank you, everybody.